this is Samia and welcome to my YouTube channel. You must be thinking that why am I this happy? But don't worry because this happiness is about to fade away. Because I have my exam in just three hours. And this week is going to be the most hectic one because I have my exams back to back. And the worst part is it has been just 20 days since I moved to this semester. I mean exactly 20 days. Well, this is not the end sem, which is the final exam of the semester. So in each semester, we have two exams, mid sem and end sem. So it is mid sem. But this exam matters a lot because in order to perform well in your entire semester, you must score good marks in this semester as well. And as I already mentioned that I have got like we have got just 20 days to prepare for this semester. It is true actually because on 3rd April 2024, I had given the last paper of my semester 5 and it's 24th of April 2024 today and I have my first exam of semester 6. Is not it crazy? Actually, I'll share something scary with all of you, which you might not believe, but that's the reality of my college life. So just stay tuned to the video. So the surprising news is that we are going to cover three entire semesters in just eight months. It might not sound believable to you, but we have literally done it. And how did it happen? Why did it happen? We know nothing about it because our university messed up everything. So when we were in first year, we were given so much time. We were given almost 10 and 11 months in our first and second semester. So it's pretty obvious for us to be in this kind of rush now. My exam was about to start at 9 in the morning. So I was quickly getting ready to reach to my university on time. As I walked through campus, memories flowed my mind college life with all its ups and downs has left a mark on me but it's not just about classes and exams it's more about the people you meet and the friendships you make but sadly despite my efforts to be friendly making friends here has been a struggle to me instead of gaining companions i have ended up losing them along the way and to be very honest, it's tough admitting that these years have not been as bright as I hoped. While others formed tight-knit groups and laughed together, I often felt like an outsider. Though I may not look back on my college years with the same nostalgia as some of my peers, I cannot deny the profound impact it has had on shaping me into the person I am today. College may not have given me the friendships I had hoped for, but it did give me something far more valuable. Self-awareness, confidence, and a deeper understanding of myself and the world around me. I just came back from my university and my exam went pretty well. I mean, I had not really expected it in this way, but uh, it was pretty good. But I made a tiny blunder in my first question. Otherwise, I could cover up almost every single thing. And the paper tomorrow I have is core 14. And honestly, to be very honest, I don't know anything about it. I have literally not even touched the syllabus because we have got very short period of time. We had just 20 days in which we had to cover up everything. We had to make notes. We had to attend classes and all. So it was really difficult for me. Although we all are sent our notes in our class group where we have to study from, but still, I hate it. I mean, I prefer to attend class. I prefer to go to my university, not because I like it, not because I like to go outside and all. But I hate staring at the screen just before my exam because it sucks. However, I have no other option but to stare at the screen and to understand the concept so that I could write everything properly in my paper tomorrow. Right now I'm not exhausted, I'm not tired at all, but I want to take a nap for some time because my eyes are hurting so badly. So first of all, I'm going to take a nap and then I will start studying from my phone. Okay, so we are back again. Actually, I told myself that I am going to take a nap for at least an hour and a half so that I can be relaxed. But what I did instead, 
I was just scrolling my phone. I literally ended up wasting my two hours straight without getting distracted. I don't know why, but whenever I study, I have so many chances to get distracted. But when I just use my phone, I do not get distracted at all. And it has become one of my biggest problems nowadays, just scrolling reels and not even reels. Sometimes I get addicted to YouTube and so many other platforms. But I cannot whine on this topic right now because I have so many other important topics. So tomorrow I have my exam, I have my paper of core 14. So it's something we call core 14. So in this paper, we study about first world war, second world war, why did they happen? What were the reason behind them? And what kind of trouble did they cause? Actually, it means like, okay, Pratham Vishwa Yudh Ke Karan, Uske Parinam and these kind of stuff. Sometimes I really wonder that why do we even need to study about world history? I mean, sometimes it does not really make sense. But since I have chosen this topic and I'm really enjoying studying history and a lot of you have asked me that what is my major, although I have already mentioned it several times, but still you guys have asked me this question again and again. So I am pursuing history in Bachelor of Arts. So basically it's my major subject. So without further delay, let's quickly jump into study because I have to cover up so many topics and I'm literally hoping to complete all of them because I have not even touched them yet. You know what, whenever I start studying, I'm just feeling that my brain literally forgets to function and process. I mean, all the things I'm studying right now is not able to reach to my brain. Like all of them are disappearing on the way. And it's really crazy because I'm trying to memorize things. I'm trying to understand and clear those concepts. But I'm feeling like stuck. I don't really know what I'm going to write in my paper because I have been feeling like crazy, <laughs> like it's really crazy. So I have decided not to study anymore, but to watch some YouTube videos on those topics in which I have got stuck. So I did find some YouTube videos of Dhrurati and actually he has made so many videos. So I am hoping them to help me in this semester because in my last semesters, his videos did help me to some extent to clear my points and to make things easier for me. So let's see whether his videos help me or not. A very good morning to all of you. But probably my good morning is going to turn into bad morning because today I have my exam and I am hell scared. Like I'm literally hell scared because I could not really cover up my syllabus. I could not really understand most of the topics because last night suddenly something hit me and I kept thinking about it. I was literally thinking about it in every aspect like am i really right over here and it was something like i'm stressing myself out and i'm going all in with this kind of dedication just for a degree just for a piece of paper which is probably not sufficient to provide me better opportunities and it was something I kept thinking about. I was thinking like, am I doing it right? Should I be studying and all? I mean, instead of actually studying, I was thinking that should I study or not? And right now I'm regretting that why did I waste my so much time on that, on that stupid topic, which does not really matter at all. And I could not do anything. I mean, I have watched several videos last night to understand the concept. Still, most of the topics I could not really get and they are not actually very clear to me. And I'm a kind of person who needs to repeat multiple times. And by saying multiple times, I mean at least 10 times, 15 times so that I can understand the concept. But I could get chance to repeat just two times. 
and it was not sufficient like not at all because in this way i could not understand because most of the time i was distracted i had a very short span of attention i don't know what to say but like i literally cannot focus for a long time so i have been struggling with it a lot nowadays because the more i study the more i get distracted so i need to find a solution for it but for now i have to focus on my study so that i can write something in my paper so that i do not fail so without further delay let's get into the study so that i can complete some of the topics which is really important for our exam i don't usually rely on videos to clear my points because my notes are always structured which helps me to understand things better but since in this semester my notes are not completed so i am taking help from videos This journey did not really end there because I still have two papers left and both of them are the toughest one. So wish me very good luck because I really need it and I will see you in the next video.